Tonight, calls for peace in Gaza echoing throughout San Francisco City Hall, where hundreds are showing their support for a new resolution calling for a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. No more innocent lives should be lost, no matter the religious, political, racial, or national identity of anyone at this point. San Francisco residents making their voices heard, demanding an end to the violence. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck. And I'm Claudine Wong. Hours of public comment still underway tonight at the San Francisco Board of Supervisors meeting. A majority of speakers in favor of a ceasefire resolution. KTVU's Jana Katsuyama joins us live from San Francisco. And a big turnout tonight, Jana. There certainly has been. We are talking about six hours so far of public comment, each person getting up for a minute each. And if you take a look behind me, you can see City Hall. The lights are still on. There is still a line. People are still giving public testimony. And tonight, there have been many people who were very emotional about this ceasefire resolution. The line to enter San Francisco City Hall stretched down the block and around the corner. A crowd that some estimated at more than 1,000 people queuing up to speak out at the San Francisco Board of Supervisors meeting Tuesday night. I've been on the board for four years. I've never seen this kind of uh, turnout. The majority of people came in support of the Gaza ceasefire resolution introduced by Supervisor Dean Preston, a progressive with Jewish heritage, horrified by the Hamas attack. Jews are still in shock with the October 7th massacre fulfilling the worst fears and nightmares of so many of us. But Preston also broke into tears, sharing the story of a Palestinian American friend. Seven more members of my family have been killed overnight in this morning. At least 100 have already been killed since October 7th. Preston's ceasefire resolution also calls for humanitarian aid and condemns anti-Semitism and Islamophobic rhetoric. The public comment began around 4 p.m. and hours later, more than 200 people still waited in line, almost all in favor of the resolution. The speakers are Arab, Muslim, Jewish, queer, black, Asian, and of all ages. I got here at 2. I've been waiting four and a half hours. Um, and it, I believe it's really important for our supervisors to represent the constituents of San Francisco. I am an anti-Zionist Jew. Um, my grandparents fled pogroms. So as a Jew, I believe that this should never happen again for anyone. Before the meeting, members of the Jewish Community Relations Council, which opposes the ceasefire resolution, held a vigil outside City Hall, putting a flag for each of the hostages still being held in Gaza by Hamas. The group, however, decided not to speak at the public comment. Supporters of the resolution called for the supervisors to vote without delay. We can't wait till January for this resolution to be voted on. It needs to happen now. And at this hour at City Hall, there are still dozens of people who are in line to talk. And the supervisors tell me that they do not plan to cut this short. They will give everyone who is in line a chance to have their voice heard. There will be no vote tonight. But one of the big points of contention is some people are calling for the, them not to send it to committee to actually take a vote next week. If that does happen, then people who are opponents with the JCRC says, say that they will be here. And you could expect probably another large crowd. If it does go to committee, it could take until the new year before this comes up again. Claudine. Janet, do you know when they're going to make that decision and when people will be notified if they're going to take it to a vote or take it to committee? It's up to the president, Aaron Peskin. He has not indicated what his plan is, and it looks like it will be posted on Thursday. So that is when it will be on the Board of Supervisors website. Okay. Janet Katsuyama, thanks so much for that report.